We want to use this occasion to tell the Almighty God, thank you for having a very peaceful election. Not just in District 8, but across the country. We have called consistently for the onset of this election for camp. We ask of who to remain tolerant. The district has demonstrated no major violent action in our district. That we recognize there were one or two minor scavengers, but those were not enough to be classified as a major violent in the district of Indian Survival County. I want to say thank you to my supporters, to my partisans or well wishers, and I want to appreciate those who contested against me also for helping to maintain the peace and stability of our nation. We come today from the backdrop of first appreciating our people. We want to use this occasion to appreciate our campaign team. Of this one, my head boss, Rado Kanji. You fought courageously and gallantly. The confidence reposed in you. You definitely executed that. We want to appreciate the leadership and collaborative parties in this one, my head of the Mali Coalition for Democratic Change. Sao! You fought, and we are where we are. Mm -hmm. I also want to appreciate the women, leadership of the Coalition for Democratic Change and collaborator. I want to appreciate the youth leadership of the Mali Coalition for Democratic Change and collaborator. I want to appreciate all of the auxiliaries that I personally recruited mobilized and those who also join us in this trial. I want to appreciate our first time voters. Whoa, 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 whoa! You stood, you stood, you stood your ground. And, and because you stood your ground, you fought with us in the trenches of history. I want to appreciate those community leaders, elected community leaders, who join us in our struggle. The elected community women leaders who join us in our struggle. Also, the youth, the elected youth leadership of District Number Eight, board of the CDC, who join us in our struggle. We want to tell the Almighty God, thank you that today we see this moment. I want to say to you and all of our supporters to remain calm. Remain tolerant, remain peaceful. The gossip and the rumor that you've been hearing are false. In this district, we have elitary centers in our possession today. I can kindly announce to the media mm -hmm. that we have all of the talishes of the electric centers in this room in Bonsoir County. No more don't lie. We can publicly say yet, before the official announcement by the National Elections Commission, that we are in a comfortable league and an irreversible comfortable league. are in a comfortable lead and an irreversible comfortable lead. So, Not only that we are in a lead, but we wait for the National Elections Commission to make the official declaration when the opponents are buried by us. Yes. I want you to be attentive. Last night we asked all of you. Last night. We we'll ask all of you to remain calm. We chose not to post because we wanted a prima facie. And that prima facie are the talishes that we received. The talishes also that were posted 
at every polling center by the National Elections Commission. Those numbers show that we are the victors, and they are the victors. <laughs> Having said that, I want to reassure you that nobody, nobody can temper with the results. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. I want you to listen, please. Let me repeat. Even if our opponent demand a recount, we will still win because we have the numbers. You can go out. All of you can go out and peacefully celebrate. Oh. Do not disrupt or do not disturb other people. It is your core fundamental rights under the laws of the Republic of Liberia to amass your forces. The Constitution provides that protection. So, distinguished member of the fourth estate, I want to say to you that these are our tally sheets. We are not speaking of record. You can work with my team. You can work with my team and you see the numbers. And you do your calculations. To those who contested against me, I want to appreciate you. It was a great fight you put on. But again, in every election, there must be a winner. To all of you, all of those who contested against me, I want to say hand off to you. I respect you. I respect your tolerance. Again, to those who are posting and pretending as if to say that you won in Deshaun number eight, I ask that you concede and concede now. <laughs> Let me repeat. I ask that you concede and concede now. To defeat Ah Akaro Mose Taraka Tomikaze. It's not as ordinary as you think. We fought with everything in these elections. And the reason why we fought with everything in these elections because there were forces who fought us for all one of life. We were fought not only by the Unity Party. Not only by other political institutions, yeah. but we were fought by other people who believe that our stance was taken. And the historic marks were made in this country. Some of them feel that we step on their toes. Yeah. So they put up everything, him or the possible, to fight us. But again, we have gone above our right to prove. We have prevailed. Don't listen to mockery. Don't listen to elementary Facebook posts. The reason, why, the reason why I'm saying this to you, please listen. Because numbers don't lie. That's science. You can't go and get all the electricity. You got someone the four tally sheet and you run around and say you win. Stop making mockery of yourself. You gotta stop. Don't make mockery of yourself. Because don't you can't deceive your conscience, you cannot deceive yourself. In the presidential election, we are in a good league as a political party. 
for the senatorial election, I can guarantee you by the tally in my possession, technically it's done. Now, I want all of you here, please, the journalists will ask maybe four or six questions. I want all of you here to listen to me as your leader. Do not be provoked. Next, we announce results. They could start announcing from in the opponent's stronghold. They could start announcing from within our stronghold. But the fight, the irreversible fight, the impeccable fight, is that the election is in the favor of the Mali Coalition for Democratic Change at, at the presidential, at the senatorial, and at the representative level in District Number 8, Montserrat. I want you to know that. Please. I know you can't hide your emotions. I know you cannot hide your sentiments. I saw it from last night and I told you to remain calm. The reason why I stopped you from celebrating because we wanted all of the tally sheets. I kept telling y'all to not celebrate until we get the tally sheets. Because even if you contest, it's the tally sheet that will show the record. A win is a win. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much or how many votes. What matters is that a win is a win. So please, please, I want you to remain very quiet. Let the journalist ask that question, maybe six questions. And please listen, please. Hey, no talking, please. Listen, when the journalist asks that question, I will respond, I want no noise. Please. Thank you so much. So please call your institution. That's the Yanti Topo Afro Care. My name is Yanti Topo Afro for Afro Care by Okay TV. Just ahead of our full testing in Nagy Society of Indonesia, you will be confirming on your social media page that you are batting through all of the free title results in your favor. All of us and your uh, major contender, Prince Two, had just posted in a few minutes said he has got almost over 9,000 plus of the vote, but not just 50, 100 percent. He is not confirmed to us. For the look of things, though these results are being unofficial, why can you say what are the numbers? People want to listen to you, perhaps. This data reserve somehow correspond with what the neck has in their possession today. And then to the presidency, you also talk about that the CDC have got you full of tally results. What are the numbers coming up from the CDC? Just the, the people want to know about the numbers. Basically, let me just speak for the representative position. Oh, uh, I don't want to dignify that of the opponent. What I do know, and I can say to you, that we have no more over even the person who came second. You can sit here with my team, and you can look at the numbers. The tarishes are here, they are not manufactured. Some of you went to where neck posted. What we did, we even went to all of the centers who took the photos of all of the sheets that were placed on. Okay, so for someone to announce that I have 900 votes, you have 38,000 voters. So yes, anybody can get 900. Even if somebody get 920, and you get 900, they've been with 921. Okay, so, but what we know, what we what we say consistently, is that the lead is irreversible from the tally sheet in the opposition, and most of you journalists are reporting. So you will take copy of the tally sheet, I mean, you can take down notes, and you can go and read it up. We are not manufacturing until some of the ships are still posted at the various centers. So yeah, so like you said, as a lawmaker, I have the right to inform my people, but as a Kennedy, it's true, the National Elections Commission will get the official results, okay? And it's good that we all listen to the official results of NEC, but what they NEC gave to me, I have it, so I can say it. You see, the numbers. No, that's what I'm saying. The tally sheet will say it. So you can look at the tally sheets. It's still up. Yeah.
All right, um, my name is Ambassador Bokami Kamara of Esteem TV. Um, last night, your major opponent went to social media um, talking about threats on your life that you sent gunsmen to, to him to, to, to kill him. And what do you have to say to that statement? The best thing to do is someone try to eat in your country and go to the police. I'm a lawmaker. If you feel that someone try to if I interest me, you call me the whole yesterday. That I personally for voting and king right here. I never left this place until the morning. I never went to a single police center because I went up there. Because I realized that last election in 2017, I was a zebra. And I visited Bush and others. That's the complaint they had against me and they challenged me. So this time I chose not to visit our Carol Street. No record, all the journalists across the country. Check your record. I never visited a single police center besides Capital Babas, where I took my family to go and vote. The that third question on Freedom FM. I'm Thomas Kojo Rolak. I, I report for Freedom FM TV. I'm concerned. You are not close with the authority to announce yourself as winner. You claim me to be in a massive lead that you are the winner. Uh, presumed. What happens if those who are clear with the authority, the National Elections Commission, announced that the election did not go your way? Let me tell you what I said so you can take it, the entire media. I'm announcing what is on the tally sheet. I'm reading what the tally sheet says. Let me repeat. Like you journalists will go on air and you call the results from the various centers. Okay? So you, you can even calculate and say district number 8 now. John, we have 400, or uh, Unity Party has 10, you know? Because you are reading for an official paper provided to you by National Elections Commission. So I'm not declaring myself officially as the winner. I'm saying to you, from what we see here, we're in a comfortable league, and the decision cannot be changed, it's irreversible. Okay, that's what I'm saying to you, because this is what NEC gave to me. I didn't manufacture it. So I said, you want to tell me those of you in the media were announcing results? Okay, are in error. Okay, like I said, it's not an official result, but I have the copy of the results in my possession. Should I come and balance it? Should I inform them? Should I speak to the media? It's very important. All of people are posting that they won, and nobody asking them questions. Okay, people are posting that they won, they are winner. But I ask them to concede. You have to concede because numbers don't lie. Ibrahim, Liberian News Agency. Thank you very much for the recognition. My name is Ibrahim Ashwin Sherry, and I report for the Liberian News Agency. This morning, I follow your Facebook post where you stated that you obtained a high-end victory, which means that the, the number were tight between you and your contender. Will you mind updating the, the public on the, the margin? You see me, I don't, like, I don't want to call it margin, but actually it's a hard-earned victory. Yes, the fourth I must admit, all of the candidates, the fourth dominantly in the district. Okay, the margin is not very big. From all indication, and I can say that to you publicly, it's not very big. But the fact of the matter is that there is a comfortable margin that can provide an irreversible victory to us. EJ Natana Debo. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, firstly, uh I'm Nathaniel Debo from the Oracle News uh, This is a third election in terms of a political party. And this is also, this is the fourth election for a political party, and then the third for you. Why do you think went wrong, looking at your margin? I'm told, uh, unconfirmed report that you, you won with 20 uh, votes. Why do you think went wrong that you have within an hour of them? That would be your election. So, secondly, are you, Convinced when you sit as a steward of the CDC that you will to come up with flying colors for the president? <laughs> Obviously, for the president, is not a question. Like I said, I don't have the authority because there's a war room for the presidency. And I believe they will start releasing some of the numbers, the war numbers. I say, I believe. Okay. I don't want to go into the exigency of the discussion in District Number 8, but you'll be shocked. There are people who came to fight. Okay? Some past officials of government, some eminent persons from different political institutions. I don't want to be, after this, 
I will, I will divulge to you with prima facie. I don't just want to lay allegations. Okay. Because the strategy was put more candidates and cut into his votes. Of people who have the lack of a carol's grade, of attracting the disadvantaged young people, put such a candidate in the race to make all candidates win, for example, and sponsor that candidate. You understand? For example, try to bring another intellectual that will compare himself a little bit with Macaro's grade, put him into the race, he will cut down the vote, and maybe the UP or whosoever will emerge victorious. So there are a lot of factors, too many factors, that I don't want to discuss here. Some are even internal, but I will not dive into it. What is important is that we have the sheets. We tell the Almighty God, thank you very much. And I love the question you asked. It's a very important question for the presidency. But I can tell you that we are in a comfortable lead, in addition to in the president took a good majority in this when the leadership we have in our possession, the president took a good majority in this one. Gibson Law FM. Yes, sir, I'm Gibson, I report for Law FM. You said you've already in the lead for this particular district. What happens if MC numbers does not commensurate with your number in the district? What I know is that NEC will have preliminary results. If we announce tomorrow for say, or today, in District 8, maybe for example, John Paul, Nana Carlos Green, is in the lead. It's on the basis of where they take the results from. You understand? So, on the basis of that, I'm not going to question that. Because they can announce from anywhere. Never decide to start announcing Montserrado results. Never decide maybe to start announcing results from Lofa County. I have given you an example. Does that presuppose that we lost the election? No. The final results. Because I can speak to you, I can say this to you freely, you will see. It. There were some errors here. The guys had some good margin against us. But some of the red desktop populated errors. Don't know us who attend those numbers, for example, so when we were TV centers. The numbers for us very, very green and wild. Slaveway community, for example. Brass Spring, Capital Bapa, GW Gibson, for example. Raditan Market. All of those errors. Sufficient numbers to overturn all of those pockets of numbers coming across from the other end. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I want to say to you that we respect NEC. Let me be on record for that. I'm one of those who respect the National Elections Commission. I'm very optimistic the National Elections Commission will not change the result. I don't think they have any interest in any individual here to change the result. Even yesterday, the Jobetta Market, one of the guys recording POs, he gave one who wrote a report. He gave one of the voters five ballot papers instead of TD. Because every error that TD, one for the senator, one for the representative, one for the president. So you will call up, maybe you saw that at Jobetta. The second time, he gave four again to another person, okay? So we're not really complaining about that stuff in here now. Even if there's a recount, okay? Even with some of the things we saw, the way they get some e Well, you can ask for recount. No, let me say this to you. I will not tell you what I will ask for, because I'm in the lead. But one good thing is that we we, we are up there, and our parents can clap, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, I'm Lawrence. Um, I'm from Red Power FN and TV in Broadview. So, what is your message now to your supporter? Uh, I have an official announcement by Election Commission. I will always tell my supporters from day one, many, some of you are in of me. They have to remain tolerant, they have to remain peaceful and calm. If any of my supporters go out there and misbehave, I will not go to the police station to release you. Because I don't want other people to misbehave on us. I want my supporter not to revert the provocation. I want you to remain calm. When the National Elections Commission is giving a nasty result, I want you to remain calm. Let me repeat. I want you to remain peaceful, I want you to remain respectful as you listen to me. I want to close on this note. One of our securities came on a severe attack last night from the Unity Party people. We had to rush into the hospital last night. Okay? In fact, in the Jobata era, one of the candidates 
one of the guys in one of the contests where he didn't become a candidate, uh, working with the Unity Party, we entered the polling room yesterday. At Jopper time, the police had to come in or to intervene. I want to dispel the notion or the perception that somebody want to kill someone. Nobody want to kill anybody. We don't even have the capacity to kill people. If you want to die as the election result because you thought you had won the election and were flying around, the one pepper boy around here, that you won the election, you can go, hold on, you can go and commit suicide. But nobody here has intention. We never share blood before. We have no history of throwing weapons. So we just wanted to dispel that notion. So go and cry, baby. It's a normal thing in the political dispensation. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, one more question, right? One of a great, uh, yeah. With the results coming from the presidency, uh, the presidential elections, should the sedition or your supporters stay uh, be hopeful of the one round victory? Should they look at, should they I'm, be hopeful? I'm optimistic that we have said. I've not changed my words. I'm now a coward. You understand? For example, I saw Senator Nyomi Kanga posting the candidate for District 8 that the candidate has won. Nobody asked Senator Kanga what she got, whether she has one talent in District 8. Okay? They were celebrating last night, but they morning they are not celebrating. You got a reality has sent in. Okay, so Nyomi Kanga has something talent she tell in District 8 that in the team. Even confidentially, I have spoken to my friends in the United Party. Okay? They got the results. They've considered some of them have been congratulating me for a victory red dessert. And I will say this for you. When Badass is a rain, all the ticket of the United Party in Magibi, I give Roland Obikobo. When I got a talent sheet, I congratulated him on Star Radio earlier that morning. And Madina Musa even called me and said that was gracious for my man. When Darius Delon won by 4 o'clock, 3 4 o'clock in the morning, at the first edition, who wrote on my page and congratulated him. Okay, when they won us in District 13, I congratulated the candidate before they broke. So I'm a man who believes in the facts. No one's don't lie to me. This is a carol's grave. But again, I want to close on this note, distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the Pope Estate. I want to say thank you to my campaign team. I want to say thank you to all of the beautiful people out there. I know that when I woke up this morning and I saw Facebook, you know, I just smiled. And the whole opposition community wanted an Akaros bill to get defeated. But now they are shocked, you know. And to all of those radio stations that have been announcing, I hope now they will announce the results for all of the talent centers. You know, I was listening to my friend from School FM. I already apologize. Those are my friends. Okay, I've had a good working relationship with Stanton. Uh, I respect Stanton. Stanton cannot take the tally sheet. I even spoke to Good Day morning. I told them we'll send in the tally sheet so they can see they cannot take it and present the facts to the public. But there's a general on the front line. And we just defeat a general, you know what it takes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not an ordinary general. I fought many battles. I do not. I lost none. Okay. Even my baby Kabina Janet was supposed to somebody in my district. He knows the history between the both of us. So he one of those casualties in my head. So I want to say thank you very much. And let me end on this note. Thank you so much. So that was the representative of Akaras. Oh!